Hey, what's going on guys? Dots here, and today I'm bringing you the third video in my BDO account progression series. This is like kind of for September, kind of for October, because I did not really make a video for my account in September because I actually did take a bit of a month off from BDO. I grinded so hard when I first came back to the game that I think I burnt myself out, especially because I was grinding primarily at Centaurs, which has got to be one of the most boring spots in the game, even though it is super, super good. Um, Holy crap, it did burn me out for sure. So I definitely did not make nearly as much progress over the month of September as I did going from uh, like my video one to video two. So if you guys did watch the first two videos that I made of this series, you're gonna notice there really hasn't been that big of a change going from uh, my last video to this one. Uh, there were a couple of minor things that I did though, as well as some changes to some plans. So I do just kind of want to uh, go over those things as well, some things that I am uh, definitely considering for the account. Uh, so kicking things off, we did get a little bit of gear increase. Uh, we went up one AP overall on both our main bar and our awakening bar, and then we went up two DP. We accomplished that by completing the barrier of infestation quest line, as well as coffering our red nose chest two three which gave us uh, some more dp so we did not gain really that much gear score from my previous video so current gear right now sits at my tet griffin's helm this is the guaranteed tet helm i do however have all the materials that i need to upgrade it to pen so once i get the money i do plan on upgrading that so we have our tet griffin's helm with bon harfi is in it our pen red nose armor with wand special evasions uh, we have our Tet Lieber's gloves with Bond Vipers and our Tet Muskin shoes with Han Hooms. Um, all obviously, you know, I'm going to be upgrading the crystals in the gear as I get better gear and it goes to the pen. But for now, I'm using slightly worse crystals because I am at Tet. Um, we also do have our Penzarka Gauntlet with Crystal of Elkars in it. We have our Duo God Eye Guard Brace. And then we have our Tet Kudan Van Brace with our other two Hooms. Uh, I did also manage to complete the last season on my Mystic. So that Tet Bacillus belt that I had, I sold it off and just replaced it with the Pen Kaposha belt since it was essentially a one to one swap. So I was just able to kind of make some free money. Uh, we still do obviously have our Moonlit Pen Kaposha necklace, our two Tet Tungrad earrings, our one guaranteed pen. Uh, it's Ted, obviously, at the moment, but Ted Ring of the Crescent Guardian, and then our Pen Kaposha Ring, and then we have our two extra AP against monsters with four Rage Lightstones. In. So that's the gear I'm currently rocking. Um, just to kind of repeat myself really quickly from last videos, in case this is the first one that you've watched, um, I run Ton Grad Earrings. I think that at this point, Distos would be too negative on my DP, and then Narcs don't give me enough AP, which I really needed at this point to get me to some nice AP amounts. And then I'm running my Guard Brace on my Awakening Weapon over my main weapon because when I first came back to BDO, uh, or excuse me, my God Eye on my Awakening Weapon instead of my main weapon. When I first came back to BDO, I was playing a Succession class so I got the Zark out of the guaranteed pen system and then I uh, was going to go obviously Black Star slash God Eye on the Awakening weapon, but then I swapped to Awakening. So I'm kind of stuck with the weapons. So my plan eventually is long term, probably to go full God Eye slash Black Star with my weapons anyway, just for some big PVE, uh, big PVE power. Plus, it'll let me grind up my accessories and all that stuff significantly faster. So that will definitely be super helpful. Um, now, originally, I was planning on, at this point, going for my Vel's Heart, but that plan has kind of changed. Um, I'm actually pretty satisfied with my AP right now, and I'm actually kind of being more limited by my DP with where I can grind, more so than my AP. So, especially with the new Magnus patch coming out soon and us getting a free piece of pen armor, I figured this would be a really good time to get my gloves and my boots um, because I have almost enough money to purchase my pen boots and then I can get my pen gloves through the Magnus quest line with the free boss armor piece. And then, like I said, because I already have all of the materials needed for the Griffin's helmet and I just need to get the, the cold hard cash, I'll basically be able to get two pen pieces by the time that the Magnus comes out and then just save up the money and then boom, I have the guaranteed pen Griffin's helmet. So I'll be full pen armor, which will be pretty freaking sweet. And then after that, we'll just keep funneling coffers into our red nose to get that to Fallen God. And then we're going to be just grinding up silver to then get the Vel's Heart, uh, which will definitely be our priority at that point. So I think we're in a really good place, um, like gear wise. And I, I kind of like my plan um, in terms of like other progress that's happened. I am going. I actually got my first dream horse, which I'm super happy about. 
Um, I, it's currently on my tagged character, but I got the Dine. Very happy about it. I actually did want the Dine just because I think it's the perks of being able to kind of run anywhere with the Dine. I think it's super valuable and I really like it. So very happy about that. Finally got my first stream horse. Took me 20 taps to get it. Um, I got return as luck on it big time because like I said, because I took a month off from BDO, literally like my first tap on the dream horse when I came back, like got me to it. So I was like, okay, BDO's pulling me back in. <laughs> it's getting me back in, man. Um, now, the only other thing that I'm currently debating and currently thinking of and, and, you know, if you guys have not followed me on stream, this might be a little bit of a surprise. I've been on the fence about whether or not I want to re-roll again away from Striker. Um, one of the biggest issues I've always had with BDO is that my main playstyle, if you've watched any of my content for a long time, um, you know I'm a big fan of like brawly dot classes. Obviously, I like dot classes. It's kind of what I'm named about. Um, but I typically like classes that are a little bit beefier and I can apply dots. So, if, you know, ESO, we got Magic and Dragon Knight. Um, we got uh, Unholy DK and World of Warcraft to play Bear Paws and Albion to play Rapier and Bow and New World. So I always play like melee style dot classes it's typically my favorite and then i'll also play like warlock if melee style classes aren't available um and then that's obviously been a bit hard because bdo doesn't really have that kind of style of gameplay with the way that you know just the game is and the combat is so i think it's taken me a while to kind of find my own identity within bdo and i don't know like my striker's really fun i, I really like him but like I, I don't know i just feel like sometimes with the classes that i play or have played in the past I feel like after a couple of months, like let's say like probably on average, I would say three months, I just kind of start start getting bored of playing whoever I'm playing. Um, so now that Draconia, especially Awakened Draconia, got some really nice buffs with Mark Thanen's heart now actually counting in Awakening. Um, and then she just got some just generic buffs to, you know, stamina buffs, uh, her skills flow better. I'm highly considering rerolling to Awakened Draconia. But it is something I'm definitely on the fence about and kind of need to think about a little bit more. Um, if I do decide to do that, the Striker will definitely go to a tag just because I do love my Striker. He is a lot of fun. Um, but I don't know. There's just something like there's just there's a little bit of like a longevity problem that I've been having with a lot of the classes that I choose. Just because, you know, obviously I don't need to tell you guys if you play BDO for any amount of time. You know, classes have a lot of intricacies about them in this game. There's a lot to learn. And I feel like I've definitely been hamstrung in my learning process of getting to a certain skill level that I want to achieve just because I'm not playing one class for long enough and I'm like changing a lot. Granted, it has helped me learn the ins and outs of a bunch of classes so I know them a lot better when I fight them, but still I really want to obviously progress and get really good at a class. So that's, you know, figuring out who I really want to main long term is something I've been working on a lot. Um, you know, so it's, it's definitely something I, I've been debating and thinking about. And, and it's I'm going to be trying to figure it out over the next like week or two, mainly because obviously the gloves and boots that I get are going to depend a lot <laughs> on if I decide to go DR or evasion. So something I'm going to be thinking about, something I'm going to be considering. Um, but I will say that if I do decide to go with the Draconia, I will be undoubtedly farming up the infinite mana potion because she is a very thirsty lady. <laughs> Awaken Draconia uses a lot of freaking resources. Um, so I will definitely be farming up the infinite mana potion, but most likely the method that I will go about it to just try not to burn myself out this time is that I will most likely be um, farming up, like when I don't have Agris available, I'll farm up for the mana pot. And then when I do have Agris available, I'll farm up at like an Agris spot. However, I'm probably not going to do Centaurs again, regardless of how good the spot is. It like literally made me lose all sanity. So <laughs> I'll probably do something like maybe like Histria, the newly buffed Kadri, uh, Crescent, Sulfur Mine, something. I don't know. Just something that is not freaking uh, Centaurs, you know, something that just isn't Centaurs. I'm going to probably grind. Um, but yeah, that, that's kind of where things are at right now, guys. Uh, definitely a bit of a slower month for the account just because I did take a bit of a break from BDO. But still, we still made some progress, you know, still 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 moving things along. The Dream Horse was a huge get for me just because I feel like now a lot of things like surrounding my account are getting a lot better. Um, and so it's just I just feel like I'm moving closer and closer to having a, a much better, well-rounded account. Um, and then so currently, besides all the gear stuff I said that I'm working on uh, on the life skill side of things, I am going to be working on pushing my cooks 
cooking up to guru i'm actually pretty close i'm like halfway through master um so obviously you know i still know i have a lot of experience and a lot of levels to do but i am going to start really working on that again because i would love to start being able to do the imperial uh balanos meal boxes which will just make me some nice extra money throughout the week to again help progress the account faster and then kind of whoever i decide to main for the long term i also plan on doing a lot of arena of solaire grinding just to kind of you know see see what we can do if we really put a lot of effort into it uh but yeah guys i think that's about it for today's video i know it was a bit of a uh you know not not as major of an account prog video as the last one but guys with that being said that is going to be it for me today that's all i all i got on this video hopefully you guys did enjoy the update and if you did i would appreciate a lot if you left a like on the video any questions about my plans or progress feel free to leave them below and of course subscribe for more bdo guides and content so thank you all so much for stopping by i do very much appreciate it as always i'm dos gaming and i'll see you all in the next one